Hey guys! Say hi, Belle! She's seeing my new ring light, so she's wondering, what is this thing? Do you need a cuddle? So if you are a new viewer, welcome. You can subscribe if you'd like, and if you've been with me for a while, thank you for always coming back. So you probably clicked on this video for the title, How I Made an Extra $1,500 Last Year, Aside from My Job. I'm going to tell you all about it in as easy as cake, or pie, or... There are a few things you need, and that is a smartphone, a laptop or a desktop, and a closet maybe full of things that you just don't wear anymore or some things you could get rid of. How I made an extra $1,500 are with the apps Vented and Poshmark. These apps are a lot like eBay, but they are more women-centered, and they sell more clothes and handbags and stuff like that instead of all the things laying around your home. It's just basically the stuff in your closet that you don't wear anymore. What you want to do is get your smartphone and load Poshmark or Vinted. It doesn't matter which one really. Vinted does sell for less, I would say. Your items will go for less on there. And Poshmark, they're more serious buyers. And I would say within five to ten minutes after signing up, you can start posting items right from the app onto your Poshmark and people can start buying them or offering you money for them and all you have to do is get first class packages and put the item in there and then send it out and your money comes uh, to your bank in the Poshmark app within I would say three days uh, when the person gets it they have to accept it and they can also give you ratings like eBay. Now I will kind of show you what I do because just talking about it might confuse a few people and um, I will just give you examples of kind of how I do this and I did make about $1,500 last year throughout the whole year that is um, selling on these sites because I do kind of treat it as a business I guess and it's just a good kind of side money job. So here is the app. This is kind of what it looks like when you turn it on and um, it just has other people who I'm following or who have shared things kind of pop up. Then you can go into your profile down here. I'm going to go to my closet. That is how many listings I have, how many shares I've had, and then how many followers I've had. And I've grown this over a few years so you won't get that many followers right away. It just has different items that I'm selling so you can see. Scrolly, scrolly, scroll. And they're just different things um, I don't wear anymore or I've had since high school or I just need to get rid of. And if they don't sell within like six months to a year, I give them to Goodwill and donate them along with donating other items. Now, if you want to sell an item, which is what I mainly do, I don't usually buy, you just click the middle sell button. And I already have something hanging up. I'm actually not selling this, but I wanted to give you guys an example. I just put it on a hanger and I make sure that I have daylight in my room going so they can see it really well. And then you would just take a picture like so. Let me get closer a little bit. And then you can filter it, make it pretty, and you can even take your own pictures outside of the app. Then you'll hit next and you kind of give details about what you are selling. You can add three more pictures. You can describe it, add the category, add the size, the brand, basically everything that the buyer needs to know about it, if there's any damage, anything like that. You can try to estimate what the original price was and then you can put your listing price and Poshmark does take 20% so then it will tell you what items are, or what you will get after your item is sold and in your bank. So then after you hit next it won't let me go on because I haven't submitted that but it will post to your closet. Let me exit out of this really quick. It would be the first listing right here in your closet and you can share it to other people. Sharing gets your items out there and actually helps with selling and all that. And I don't think there's a limit to how many posts you can do in a day because I've posted a lot and I've never gotten an email or anything like that. But you do want to share um, and follow people because that will gain you traffic and get your items some attention. And there's just so many people on this, I think there's over like 2 million people, so you shouldn't have a problem finding people to follow or people to follow you. And I will say what I usually do is go through my closet at least once a month. It is kind of jam-packed right now because I have everything in there when I move out of my parents' house because I had to come back when my roommate left and I haven't found a place yet, so it's kind of jam-packed. But I go through this once a month. I go through my short sleeve shirts up there. These are more my jackets and my dresses and then shoes. 
and on the bottom is more winter clothes and um, I just kind of take everything out and ask myself do I need this do I use this and if I don't I put it in this black kind of Rubbermaid container and I fold it nicely in there with um, pants or scarves or whatever I have that um, I want to sell so I keep it out of my closet and out of the way and whenever it sells I just open this up and find it and ship it out. For packaging on Poshmark they want priority mail packaging and they look like this. You can order these online through the post office. I will put the link in the bottom bar so you guys can um, order them yourself. They are free and you can only order a limited amount at a time so if you need more um, I would just order like a week at a time. But be sure they say priority mail because they can be returned back to you if you have a priority label on it and it doesn't say priority mail. For Vinted, you can actually send them in manila envelopes and you can get these at the dollar store or Walmart. You can even get them in bulk on Amazon, but um, they are first class so you can send them without the priority packaging and you will have to buy your own which takes money out um, of your earnings, but it really isn't that much for the packaging because I think I got like six of these for maybe a dollar fifty. So again, it's really not that expensive. But um, you want to look for stuff like this, and you can use boxes around your house if you um, have had anything delivered, and you can fit a shirt or shoes in it. Um, and sometimes, if the item is heavy enough, you do use priority mail packages with Vinted. But I do that for like jackets, coats. Um, sometimes dresses and shoes and stuff like that. So I hope this was helpful. This was just a quick little overview of how I did make $1,500 last year. And you can also do it too. Even if you don't have a ton in your closet, you can probably make a good chunk of money because people are always on that app and always buying and offering. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the down bar. And be sure to subscribe if you liked this video. And I will see you all later.